Hello. So in this example, let's look to all instance parameters, properties, and how to modify them. So let's go back to Revit. In here I have created one wall. If I select object, I go to the properties area. If I don't see my properties, I go to view. I select user interface and I select properties. So in first window, which you can see in properties, uh, you see instance parameters. If you want, if you want type parameters, you should go in edit type. In instance parameters, if you want more details or descriptions, so you go to properties help and you can find more information. So from here, from instance parameters, you can select instantly your wall type. So you can choose any wall type which is in your project. Next important part is to constrain your walls. So you should constrain walls. Uh, they should be constrained level by level, so it is similar to the construction phases, so you build building level by level, not all the levels at once, so you should create your walls level by level. Uh, in offset settings you can choose how to offset your wall uh, from your level line. Next part, room boundaries, if your wall is uh, not a room boundary or room object, so you can uncheck this mark and program will not automatically uh, use your wall as room boundary. And also location line, you should select correct location line which you would like to use for your walls. Uh, structural parameters we discuss in our video and uh, dimensions from dimensions you can see basic dimensions of your uh, wall so length, so length area volume and identity data in this area you can find much more parameters if you use add-ons so in here i can see some basic uh, default parameters image comments and mark so for each you can move your mouse and read more details you can press f1 for more details of this uh, parameter and how it works. So in image you can put your image how the wall looks in real life or just schematic view how the wall should be understood. In comments you can put some comments, in marks you put some identification mark for each wall. Each wall can have different mark description or code which you can use after in filters and other objects. Phasing. Phasing gives you possibility to put walls in uh, phases according to your building phases. So let's say I want to demolish some walls. I can choose demolition phase. I can create new walls. I have existing walls. So I can choose all these phases and it gives me possibility to create a realistic model which is suitable for building the real project.